In this video, we're gonna build the basic code that allows us to synthesize speech with Amazon Polly in Python. Please see the previous video for the prerequisites if you'll be coding along. Um, additionally to what I said there, I have to specify that we also need Pygame. So if you don't have it, you can simply uh, pip install Pygame. All right, so let's get to it. First, the imports. So import Boto3 and then from Pygame import Mixer and then we're also going to need the operating system. So import OS. Uh, we'll create a poly instance. So poly equals Boto3 client poly and then a variable called spoken uh, text that will hold the response we get from calling the synthesized speech method. So uh, spoken text poly synthesize speech and then our text is going to be I am Emma. Let's say you know me from Ivona, but now I come via poly. All right. And our output format is going to be mp3 and the voice ID is uh, going to be Emma. All right. Now, let me quickly show you how this response looks like um, in interactive mode. So you get an idea of what spoken text is basically. So I'll just uh, repeat these commands in a Python 3.5 shell. So import Boto3 from Pygame, import Mixer, import OS, poly is Boto3 client poly, and then spoken uh, text is poly synthesize speech text I am Emma you know me from Ivona that should be enough and our output format is mp3 and our voice ID is Emma okay and I will simply call or we can print but I'll just call spoken text printing like gives you the same output so this is basically the response you get from calling uh, synthesize uh, speech and the part we're interested in from this response is the audio stream uh, this is uh, the part of the response that we'll write as mp mp3 file. So uh, let's just do that within the code. So we're going to open a new file with open, let's say, output dot mp3 in write binary mode as f. Um, f write. So we're going to write uh, spoken text. So we're going to write the part of the response the audio stream read okay so this is basically the most important I would say the most important part of the code and then we're gonna just close the file now at this point we have um, we kinda have our mp3 uh, file and we can simply open and play it and let me just uh, execute this code. So F5. OK. And we should have a new file output MP3. And this is this is it. OK, so let me open it. I am Emma. You know me from my phone, but now I come via Polly. OK. Um, but what I want it, uh, so this is fine, but what I want is to have it uh, play directly uh, in 
this file um, and then remove the output file so um, this is kind of optional and you don't have to do it but I guess it simplifies things and uh, it makes things even smoother so um, this is where we'll we'll need uh, the mixer from Pygame so uh, mixer we're gonna initialize the mixer first and then we're gonna uh, load our output so mixer music load our output dot mp3 and then we're gonna play mixer music play so we're gonna play whatever whatever is uh, loaded okay uh, now another important thing as long as the mixer is uh, busy playing or speaking the text that's good that's fine but once it's finished speaking we'll, that's when we'll delete the file so how do we do that uh, we're gonna use a while loop so while mixer music get busy equals equals true then pass so do nothing as long as the mixer is busy but once that's done uh, then we're gonna do mixer quit and that's when we use the operating system to remove our output so output dot mp3 okay now let's run this code once again I am Emma. You know me from my Vona, but now I come via Polly. And that's gone. Okay, so uh, that's kind of it. That's how you synthesize speech with uh, Amazon Polly. Now I'm considering writing this whole thing uh, as a class or wrapper so it can be easily used, similar to the way the Pivona wrapper was used for Ivona. But I'll see. Um, Next, we'll probably build GUI applications with Poly. So uh, stick around if you're interested. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.